Hey, what's going on guys? It is Lastly here and as you can see on your screen, today is not going to be Team of the Week testing. It is going to be a special episode of Team of the Season testing. First off, if you guys are looking to buy some coins, be sure to go and check out UT Coin Traders link in the description below. But yes, we are going with three Team of the Season players from this week's most consistent team of the season. We have got uh, some pretty good options there. And this was the team that we actually used around our three players. So let's just have a little run through of the team uh, and show you what it's all about. In goal, we have got Gigi Buffon, the Italian goalkeeper for I don't know how long. He has just, he's, he's been doing his thing for so, so many years. And actually, like, he's been getting better and better. Um, and this year, like his card on Ultimate Team is fantastic as well. Uh, we've got Giorgio Chiellini, who's rapid, has great pace, great heading, uh, and great defending stats, an all-round beast. The first team of the season player we've got today is Bocchetti. He has got 80 pace, 85 defending, and 85 heading. He plays for, I believe it's Spartak Moscow in the uh, Russian League, and he is actually from Italy. So links up nicely there with uh, Chiellini. And then the second team of the season player we've got is... Uh, Mangala from Porto, the Frenchman, who has got 81 pace, 84 defending, and 85 heading. So that right there is a pretty rock solid defence. Uh, to go with that, we have got Pogba and Rafael Carioca or Cariosa. I'm not quite sure how it's pronounced. Um, to give you know each defender their good links, and then over on the right hand side, we have got Ada Magidi. Five star skills, absolutely rapid, an incredible player on this game for probably about 800 coins which is just ridiculous. Uh, and then on the other side, we've got the total opposite in terms of money. Uh, he costs a lot. Frank Ribery, he costs me, I believe this one was 480k for me, and he's just a god. Uh, up top, we have got Fabrizio Michele's in form, uh, 86 pace and 87 shooting being the standouts. Then we've got this guy, team of the season, Diamante, 76 pace, 87 shooting, 85 passing, 89 dribbling. Excuse my phone there. Uh, it just looks like such an incredible player. And then to top the team off, we have got Mario Balotelli. Um, so it's all looking pretty solid right there. Let's go and take a little look at the in-game stats of our three team of the season players, shall we? First off, we have got Boschetti, who when you look at that thing, oh my god, he's awful. But he's got 87 heading accuracy, 92 marking, uh, some decent passing stats for a centre-back. 88 shot power as well, 91 standing tackles is awesome. So that makes him a real solid defender. Uh, he's six foot one and has medium high work rates, which is also pretty good, and nearly perfect, I guess. Uh, he's got 80, 80 strength, 80 sprint speed, 83 acceleration, so he's rapid, 89 uh, aggression, and 90 interceptions. So a pretty good player. And then we've got Mangala, who has got 84 heading accuracy, 86 marking. Um, decent passing again, 77 is pretty good, 83 shot power, um, not 86 standing tackle should I say. Um, so some pretty well rounded stats again there for a centre back, obviously you're not going to get loads and loads of greens in the attacking areas. He is 6 foot 2 uh, and he's got medium high work rates again, 88 strength, 82 sprint speed, 86 jumping, crazy stats, 96 aggression and 85 interceptions on him. And then Diamante has got some, I'm just going to let you read them, just so good. Those skill attributes are incredible. 97 long shots, 90, well, 84 finishing and 97 shot power, 89 volleys. I mean, yeah, four star skills and weak foot, medium, medium work rates. Obviously, this card has been moved into a central position. He's left footed, he's got 81 acceleration, so although he's only got what 76 pace he actually feels pretty rapid because he accelerates incredibly fast and he's got 84 vision which is also a very good stat to have so let's have a little look at the goals we scored with the team and then a little bit more about the three players Chiellini actually he scored <laughs> three goals for me in the seven or eight games I played um, which for a centre back is pretty good uh, one of them was a header which you'd expect and then the other two were like proper shots uh, like you can see here he manages to get some space for himself and bang in the bottom corner what a goal from the centre back there pretty awesome uh, and then unfortunately um, as I believe that was Mikkeli or Ribery hits the bar and then simple finish there for Rafael Carioca uh, McGeady here look at the power he gets on that shot just from first time which was awesome uh, I always get on extremely well with McGeady and to, again this team 
Yeah, it was just the same. He's always so good. He's good on both feet for me as well. Scores a left footed goal there, as you can see. And then right here, he just... He just does the defence nice and easy, couple of little skills and into the back of the net. A really great player and he's one of my favourite players on Ultimate Team to be honest, he's great. Uh, Ribery gets a nice goal here, he's absolutely through. Keeper starts like faking me, see if I'm going to come out but I'm actually just going to, you know, bide my time, make my space and smash it into the bottom corner. Um, Right, a couple of goals from Mikkeli here. Manages to luckily get through past the defender with a nice little sort of heel turn there. And then a left footed finish into the bottom corner. And then this, I really wanted him to like smash it on his strong foot. But he hits it on his weak foot. And it turns out to be an incredible goal. So, yeah, that's him. Right, what you're going to see now is some defensive attributes sort of clips from uh, Boschetti. Um... I was kind of struggling with, with all my defenders today to get clips, apart from Chiellini. So the two Tots players, uh, they seem to just like, whenever the strikers get near the ball, they just like give me the ball. So I don't make a proper tackle or anything. But then when Chiellini's about, he does all these perfect slide tackles and stuff, which would be great for clips, but of course, I uh, didn't really get them. So you'll see a few tackles here. Um, Boschetti, talking about him, he was the least... My least favourite out of the three players today. Uh, Mangala was, because uh, you can sort of compare them to, but you can't really compare Diamante to the defenders. But Mangala was better. Uh, he just seemed to be more of a presence. Like, he's obviously a little bit taller and uh, a little bit more strength and stuff like that. So he actually works better as the central defender. Um, but then Bichetti wasn't too bad at all. He was quite agile, actually, for someone who is supposed to be like a clunky centre-back. So... You, I could say I got on pretty well with both of them, um, but the thing is, Chiellini was just so good for me in this team, and he cost a tenth of the price. That's why they're never going to score like a 10 out of 10, because you have to take everything into account. This guy, on the other hand, oh, Diamante. He is so, so good. <laughs> I absolutely love this sort of player on Ultimate Team. Someone who's got an absolute corker of a shot great skill moves fantastic balance vision and just great dribbling and stuff like Ribery here makes some space for himself tries to dink it in nice ball back in by McGeady and then look at that for a volley into the top of the net a great goal and these last two goals here just epitomize Diamante he's got such incredible finishing like look at that a beautiful goal and then this last one here is kind of similar uh, just manages to get through he's actually got enough pace to keep off the defenders and then a, a powerful incredible he's just he might have one of the best shots I've ever used in uh, in FIFA 13 ultimate team so that was the squad uh, go, let's have a little run through shall we Key, uh, in goal we had Buffon who I always get on pretty well with I think it's the second or third time I've used him this year and yeah he's he's fantastic Chiellini was without doubt the better defender out of all three of these guys which for a tech for about 10,000 11,000 coins is something to be said uh, Boschetti I I did get on with him uh, he didn't actually score any goals neither of the two tots defenders scored goals for me Chiellini was always there um, but I got on with him okay he wasn't the greatest player ever 7.5 out of 10 for him the ways he could be improved were be like more strength and and stuff like that but overall a pretty solid defender um, but probably not worth a hundred thousand coins uh, Mangala on the other hand uh, he he was also very good again didn't score any goals with him which is a bit of a shame uh, he's six foot two so he's nice and tall uh, he's got the strength he's got the pace but I think because he's also 100,000 coins, uh, I'm going to try him again. I'm going to try him again as a central centre-back and see how that works for me. Because I'm sure he could be uh, much better than what he did for me. Um, but overall, he gets an 8 out of 10. Just because uh, he was solid. It just I kind of thought he was going to be a little bit better than he was. Um, but I won't take that away from him. I will just try him again and see my thoughts on that. Uh, then we had like Magidi out on the right hand side, him and Ribery did some great work for me, um, two incredible players, just such a different scale in price. Uh, the two centre mids, uh, Pogba and Rafael Carioca were both incredible. Uh, Pogba's got a crazy shot on him for, for the player that he is and, and then Rafael Carioca is a really solid, solid little player. Uh, Mikkeli himself is a little bit of a god. And uh, nice and he's stocky, so he's small, but he's kind of strong as well. And then Balotelli is kind of the opposite, like he's very tall, but he's also really strong. 
Um, and then the god that is Diamante. Oh, yeah. You guys should really try him if you've got the coins. Because he was just so good for me. Um, from a centre forwards position, he got nine goals in eight games, which is really good in my opinion. Uh, the passing, he set up loads of goals. He's got incredibly tight dribbling. A really solid player. He gets a 9 out of 10 for me. Um, only way that he could be improved really is to drop a little bit in price and to have slightly more pace, I believe. But you can't ask for everything and he is nearly the perfect player in my eyes. Uh, this team actually costs just shy of 1 million coins there, 993,000. Uh, I'm love to hit 1,000 likes, guys, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.